It's just opening the page. All right, it says you're live. You're live. Namaskar everybody on behalf of team Laldir, I welcome you all to this spiritual Gyan Yatra, a blissful talk series on Mahan Shubak Mata Laleshwari. Mata Laleshwari's paths guide us towards the eternal light of soul. As she bleed, within you lies the spiritual light, source of universe. Our speaker today is Sri Sanjay Ranaji, a scholar of Shiva and Trikasadna. Besides this, he is a well-known social worker. He has also made good informative detailed videos of Patak Puja and Pan Puja. Before starting our talk, I will recite some works as these works are very old and out of my ignorance, if there is any mistake in my recitation, please forgive me for that. So here I go. Tere salil khattai tere hum tere gai Ben Eben Vimarsha, Chetni Rabait Sam Same, Shumai Sarasar, Jagat Pasha. Vapor on cooling becomes water. On further cooling, it turns into ice. Though vapor, water, and ice look different, but essentially they are same. As is the case with sun, which bestows the light to everything, universal consciousness, that is Shiv is everywhere and is illuminates the entire cosmos, mobile and immobile. Gayatri Azapa Thalekitajim Suham Sachi Karmastha Ahamas Lutpurt Zatre Virjim Garkat Virjim Sajim Sak. I mastered the technique of chanting mantra internally, observed my normal breathing all the time to perform azapa. While breathing out, I produce the sound of so, and while breathing in, produce the sound of hum, which means so hum. He, Shiva, is me. So chasbu. I held this truth tightly with me. I quietly and without being noticed, pulled on my ego. I followed the advice of my guru, and all my irritations disappeared. And now I hand over to the Sanjay Ranaji. Over to Sanjay Ranaji. Namaskar, everybody. Namaste, Sharade Devi. Kashmir Purvasani Ayaham Prarathe Nityam Vidya Dhanam Chidehimi It's a compulsion to speak in English, otherwise best would have been that I am talking our Mata Lalishwari you should have been exclusively in Kashmiri, but keeping in view the demands of everybody, so I speak, I try to speak in English because there are certain compulsions. There is not the right vocabulary with which we can define her box in any other language, rather in Hindi as well. Lala Laleshwari, she is part of a continuous literary movement in Kashmir. Kashmir, as we all know, is seat of Sharda, seat of Saraswati, seat of intellect. As per um, Dr. K. S. Nagaraja, in his book, 
Sanskrit contribution of Kashmir to Sanskrit literature. And Dr. Ved Kumari Gai's book, Kashmir Ka Sanskrit Sahitya Ko Yogdan. If we omit the contribution of Kashmir to Sanskrit literature, there remains nothing. Even the existing literature, Sanskrit literature, rather classical oriental literature, 80% of that is contribution of Kashmir. Just few days, rather one month or more, we had rather one month long Avinav Guft birthday celebrations. We know contribution of Avinav Gupta, Avinav Gupta of, uh, contribution of Somananda, Lalata, Mamata, Kayata, Khemendra, John Raja, Kalahana, Srivara, Shuka, Prajabhata. Even there is there is a um, there is a belief that Kalidasa was also from Kashmir. She continues that that intellectual continuity, that intellectual parampara. The, the thing uh, between if we if we compare her with Abhinava and uh, with um, Somananda, Utpala, the only difference is that one is she has used Lokabhasha. Lokabhasha is mixture of Sanskrit and Lokabhasha, local, local dialects available. Number two, there are two ways, there are two approaches to Shayu, to Trakamarga, Agama Shastra. One is Prakasha and one is Vimarsha. If you have to understand Trakadarshana, or yet, um, which is now commonly called as um, Kashmir Shaiva Darshan, you can approach it through Jnana Marga. Jnana Marga means through literature, and there's ample literature in it. Tantra Loka, Tantra Sara, Para, Tramishka, Pitya Bigya Hadai, Sapanda Nirna, Sapanda Karika, what not. But another is yogic. Vimarsh. What you achieve. Lala has chosen that path. So it's imperative, it's 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 essential for a yogi, for a learner, for a student, normal, or for writer, for scholar. She should have minimum understanding of Kashmir Trikadarshan. It's it's very essential. Without having the basis of Trikadarshan, we, 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 we will not be able to do just to Lalishwari. Because she's 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 only only a Shaiva yogini. It's not yogini. It's not an adjective only. Yogini. Yogini is a qualification. There are there are two qualifications in Shaiva darshan. One is siddha and one is yogini. The sadhaka which achieves the ultimate goal, as per the Shaiva tradition. He is called as Siddha. And a female sadhaka who achieves that goal, she is called as Yogini. So it's not just we have put word Yogini before her. It's a, it is her qualification. She is a Shaiva Yogini. Number one. And while going into the details while analyzing her works, she confesses it, not at once, but at hundred times. 
she publicly declares you that I am a realized soul. And we can no, we, we, we will not be able to do justice to her works, or we, we will not be, rather, we will not be able to understand her until and unless we will have the basic, rather deep understanding of Kashmir Shaiva Darshan. Because she is a Shaiva Yogini. Rest leave it. There are people hell bent upon to distort her. Their all efforts are in vain. These literary mullahs can, they will never succeed in that. But by just uh, making certain insertions, interpolation of wax, they cannot do it. Because there is a saying in uh, Hindi, Nakal karne ke liye akal bhi chahiye. You should have wisdom. If you want to imitate something, you should have wisdom. That you should not be caught. It is simply because of certain reasons that we have not been able to assert. Otherwise, original Lala death and interpolations, insertions, adulteration, that can be easily pulled out. Lala is not an ordinary poet. She is not an ordinary poet. She is super a poet. She knows how to chisel words with an objective. It's not, she's not, I mean, she's not, by the way, she's not using words. You see, I should say, she is one of the best poets in world, amongst the world poets. She is, she must be amongst the few. You see, once we see her, the structure of her works, she is, she is using always measured words for everything. Number one. Number two, while analyzing her works, we should know the contemporary literature of that time. Language structure of that time. Because it had attained a rope, it had attained a shape, Lokabhasha, which we now call as Kashmiri, it had taken a shape. Because there is a sampradaya, there is a sect in Kashmir Shaiva Darshan that's called as Shum Sampradaya. They have, they have their scriptures, they have their grants, they have their shuks in Shum, in, in that Lokabhasha, which is, which is um, the basic Bhasha of this Kashmir. And there are two, three more documents available, say, Mahanai Prakash, Banasur Katha. So these, they cannot, these interpolations are these insertions are these um, adulterations, they cannot stand. For some time, let us not address that issue. Because uh, once we in, get involved, once we are trapped in it, the original thing about the glory of Lala is getting in background. Lala, Lala is a realized soul. She, show, she is showing us the path, path of spirituality. How to lead which, which path to tread for attainment of a supreme, supreme goal? What difficulties you are supposed to, what difficulties a sadhaka is supposed to confront? How to overcome? See, there's a walk. Talachi justai patchuk natsan, vanta mali ankit rotsanchi, sori sum rejechi matsan. This is, this is a line for sadhaka. But don't get so engrossed in materialism. This is not going to help you. 
But simultaneously, she is she advises the sadhaka. Can I 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 can it will give rise to your ego she she uh, advises a sadhaka to tread a line of middle line materialism materialism is not going to help you but simultaneously renouncement sanyasa is too is not going to help you because Shtraka Darshana never advises us to renounce this world. The basic concept of Trika is Shiva plus his creation. Both are real. So, she advises a sadhaka. I should say, for a sadhaka, these vakas are nectar, amrit. And anybody whosoever follows these vakas, he will never get fail. He will definitely get success. So far as sadhaka and sadhana and attainment of the ultimate goal is concerned. Now, see the superiority of our vakas. Unfortunately, what has happened where there are uh, seminars, talks on the line, we are trapped by these mullahs, distortionist mullahs, who are hell bent upon to um, cover up their crimes, I should say. Mullahs in Kashmir have created, they have, um, they have to cover up. They have to cover up their crimes, which they have committed against Hindus of Kashmir from last 600 years. They have this complex. And we are trapped into it. We should change. We should change our approach. But fortunate for we people, we are unfortunate. That Lala has not met the same fate as Nundarishi has. There is a reason for that. They claim that he had a written document. His works were in shape of documents. And we, we are fortunate that uh, Lala's works were not written. And we should thank Garrison. Gerson has um, really, we should, every, uh, the humanity should be thankful to him because he um, ordered, I should say, rather instructed, guided, Sitin and Mahamupadhyay Mukhadram Shastri. He ordered them to get Lalavak because Lalavaks were not in shape of any, um, there was no scripture, there was no manuscript available. Now, once they um, search it for these Lalavaks, they went throughout the Langat and Badant of Kashmir. And in a small corner in present-day district of Kapwara, there's a small village that's called as Gushi. There was a Kashmiri Pandit. Dharmadas, he had kept in a tradition, in a traditional way, he had kept in form of that's called the Shruti and Sumati. It's not that he, it's a tradition in India. Even Vedas were kept in that tradition, Shruti and Sumati, for a long time, just to test. Father was just narrating to his son. His son was narrating to his son. And that way, what happened, we could, we could preserve 
scriptures in original form, in its original form. Because there were certain disciples in it. And Dharamadas was maintaining that he was obeying the discipline. So what Satin and Mahamupadhyay, a great scholar of that time, Mahamupadhyay, Mukhandram Shastri, a great veteran Sanskrit scholar, what they derived from Dharmadas, they derived the original, original Lala. Though shlokas were not more than 60, 60 or shlokas were there, 60, 65. But that gives us solace. Because of their garrison's efforts, garrison supports and Dharmadas contribution, Mukandram Mahamapaja, Mukandram Shastri's um, intervention, we could get original structure of Lala's works. Maybe um, I am not having that opinion that other, as on date, we have we are having more than 200 works which are attributed to Lala. In my personal opinion, uh, I never differ that all the works are not of Lala. Maybe there may be some certain, say, 100 or more or, or uh, locks, works which can be attributed to Lala. But there are definitely interpolations, insertions, adaptations. And any linguist, any linguist, any researcher, he can easily point out where insertion is, where interpolation is. Say there is one interpolation, which though I am not interested at all in referring to that, but for reference, Mozan Hyuntum Salman, Shushi Thali Thali Roza, Mozan Hyuntum Salman. Once the word Musalman was not existing at that time, it is for only 14th century, and the 14th century grants are available with us. That too of Jona Raja, Shuka, they have referred to them as Yavanas, as Malaychas but not as a Muslim. Um, uh, Muslim is a late word. It, it, they have, it, it's, it's a late entry word. So it's a simple, it's an adulteration, it's an interpolation, insertion. Number one, number two. We should, all seminars, all conferences, should be there to allogize Lala's contribution, his philosophical contribution, his, his contribution to philosophy, his contribution to Trika. Because she is nothing more than, she is, she is only a Trika's yogini. And Vimarsh, she has addressed Vimarsh Pata. Vimarsh Pata means what she experienced herself, she is sharing that experience with you, with this world, and that she or she publicly confesses. Versus Prakash Dham, it means she, and it's not only once, she, she uses this word versus Prakash Dham a number of times. Versus Prakash Dham, that means um, I have reached my goal, I have achieved my goal. Lalabhadraya's low lare. Sandan Lusum, Lalabadrayas Lolare, Sandan Lusum, Janaki Horat, Wushum Pundit Panyagari. So you wrote Mosmin Yestratasat. But love, she was, she had treaded the path of spirituality. She was on Sadhana. She was on the path of Sadhana. And she achieved what she, whatever she wants to achieve. She saw uh, the exact translation of the shloka is, uh, this vaka is, Lalabhadraya Sluhare Sana Rusum Dohtarat. I came out in search of truth. I was searching for truth. I lost my days and nights in that search. Ultimately, what is truth? I could get it within me. And then she applies to that. It's a question answer. Goraswun Prasum 
گرن گرن ونم کنی وتم نیبر دپنم اندر اتم سوی ملال گوم وقت وتم توی ہتم ننگے نہ اتم ائی آسکڈ ریپیٹڈلی ائی آسکڈ می گرو گیو می دا شارٹسٹ وے ٹو اچیو ٹو اٹین دیٹ ریئلٹی and he simply told me in my in simple terms go and look inside when i just started that path i saw and people what people do nungai means nude they they just translate this nungai nasun means then she was she has put off her clothes and she was just roaming wandering without clothing it's not that it is that she saw the new reality once she saw once she observed the reality of nature once she saw that it's within that's the shayu that is the shayu marga trikadarshana advises teaches a student a sadhaka that you have not to just roam outside whatever reality is there that's within you you have to simply realize it shiva is within you you are part of shiva the only thing is that individual consciousness is to be integrated with universal consciousness once it was done once she achieved that goal she was so happy and in kashmiri we use this word nangai we never use for it's a, it's a, it's not it we are not using it for um, being naked so goras puchum saas late yatna ke hamana tat kya chuna pasan pasan thachus to dosu ke hanas to shi kya tandra in terms of trigonometry this vaka can be uh, interpreted as null such as subset of all sets something came out of nothing i was just asking my guru what is this what is this i have not yet achieved i am i am doing it i am doing sadhana i am not i have not yet achieved anything he told me wait and time came when something came out of nothing these are her superb experiences see how i say that she was a realized soul there is not only one walk there are there are number of walks and while and she confesses that i am a realized soul lalb saya suman bag baras uchum shiva shakti milit to tai lai karam amit saras zindai marast karam kya once i entered into that i saw shiva and shakti together matter energy together i got that nectar which made me immortal the fear of death one who is a realized soul he is free from the trammels of this fear of death then she talks about sadhana sadhana गोरका खदयस मज बाग रटम गंगजल नौम तनमन प्राण सजे जीवन मरस प्रोम यम भय सोलम पोलम अर दिस इज साधना मतलब गुरु गे मी मंत्र एंड ही ही एडवाइज्ड मी ही टॉट मी ही शोड मी द पाथ टू हैव जपा so she is not the, the there is a there is a um, misconception there are certain writers i don't know why they do like that she is a, she is a rebel she is not a rebel she has started this traditional line guru mantra sadhana because in this shloka she she confesses that whatever i achieved in spiritual path it's only guru mantra which elevated me 
सुमरन आप गुरु मंत्र साधना आप गुरु मंत्र विच लैड मी टू दैट परफेक्शन एंड एट टाइम्स शी एडवाइज साधका डोंट बी आइडियल डोंट बी आइडियल इफ यू विल नॉट डू एनीथिंग डोंट एक्सपेक्ट दैट मेराइकल्स विल हैपन without sadhana you cannot achieve shakti pata is not that easy because there is a the people who are slightly close to trika um, darshana they know that there is a stage that's called shakti pata there are few lucky people who get shakti pata that's anugraha vidana because of puru karmas or because of guru krupa here ayas vate gayas na vate suman sathi mazru sum do santr chand swushum har na ate navitar dimai kya bo because i have not done anything it's for those people who are waiting that shakti pata will come us that to without any efforts she advised them don't be under that impression don't be don't wait for that moment that shat shakti pata will come to you otherwise you will be caught midway na udhar ke rahenge to na idhar ke rahenge dear she puts emphasis on the karma chand swushum har na ate it means that i have no karma i have no uh, nothing punya balance my punya balance is zero then there are people who are, who just say that she was against tradition it's never she was never against tradition but she she fully advocates that it's simple uh, primer is very important for, for but for a student of agr kindergarten class once you are conversant with alphabetics and scheme, its scheme then primers are not important for you same is the place of karma kanda you cannot you, you 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 have to at least you have to advise a student a sadhaka that bhaiya karma kanda is not going to lead you to that perfection for perfection you have to raise yourself above these things kush posh tel dub zal na gache sadbhav gor kathi us मैन हये शंभु सोल नित्य पन्नी ये छे सुय दिबजे सहस अकैत माजे वन हु मेडिटेट्स ऑन शिवा ओनली ही कैन गेट दैट परफेक्शन these walks are for sadhakas for for philosophers there is no scope of this that sufi um, and uh, there is um, which unfortunately people attribute to her where is scope for these abhyasas where where is scope for these sadhanas in islam just merely having one interpolation or one uh, waqa which they have just which is adulterated one insertion mozan hindu muslim can we negate all other waqas wherein she has she is a complete part of a tradition hindu tradition he propounds that 
Abi Asa. Why does why does uh, CPS for Abi Asa in Islam? She talks of tatwas. Why does this um, accommodation for tatwas? Kya kar yaman paasan dhant kahan? Yath ye lejiye mugi vakshun karit. Sir ye samho ekshi raizlam ho. Tell kya isra ibe kahan mali kaav? Tell me why can we accommodate the shuloka in any other philosophy? So called the Sufism, um, um, Rishi's cult. This is simple and straight. Shut tatwa, ashud tatwa, shut ashud tatwa. Her problem in sadhana is ashud tatwa and shud ashud tatwa. She wants to integrate, she wants to give a direction, she wants to um, rein them. Shuddha, Shuddha, Tattva, and Shuddha, Tattva. These are 26, 5, 10, and 11. Where can, where, where is the space for these things in other thoughts? I don't see there is any. Akui Omkar Yusunavi Dare Kumas Brahmanda Sum Gare. What has Omkar to do with other thoughts? Akhais Aksui Mantar Chatas Gare, Tassas Nav Gare. She is repeatedly telling look on people go and meditate on mantra. Where is space for mantras in other thoughts? Another Ashi Ost Ashi Asa Ashi Kurdur Patavat Shiva Swarn Junta Marun Rava Swarn Ataga. This is the karmic cycle. We were, we are, and we shall remain. Matter is neither created nor destroyed. This is karmic cycle. Punar Janama, Ushi, Ust, Ushi, also. What is accommodation for this thought in other Sufism or any other ism? What they say? Simply denigrating Lala, distorting Lala, calling her, abusing Lala by the word Arifa. These mullahs cannot intellectually denigrate her. On, uh, on one side, there's a problem with them. Allah is, Lala is really, Lady Shuri is icon of Kashmir. And there is a crisis for them. They want to cover up what they have done from last 600 years. Then there's one more thing. There was Hamdani and then she had interaction with him. Who Hamdani? What Hamdani? Do people know what Hamdani, you know, how he uh, impressed Sultan? How he pursued Sultan? He issued 10, 20 commandments, and that was his order to Sultan how to treat with non Muslims, how to massacre them, how to convert them, how to kill them. There's a time gap, there's a thought gap, there's a perceptional difference, there's not unity of perception. And subtle trash, nonsense things are being attributed to her. It's not only that, there are certain so-called intellectuals who are also doing it. I don't know under which pressure they are doing it. The first and foremost responsibility of Turka school, Turka students, Lovers of poetry, lovers of Lala, is that the original Lala should come out. The zenith of Lala should come out. Unfortunately, we are caught in, um, uh, in the strategy of these intellectual mullahs. They want to engage us around it, whether she was a... Um, 
Arifa or not. But yeah, we are having ample and Lala's walks are complete. We need no crutches. We need nobody's acceptance. Lala is Lala. She describes herself. She is Hindu icon of Kashmir. She is Hindu icon of India. Dadashan mandalas use diu thaisi. What is the Dadashan mandal? She has described Shaivic practice. Dadashan mandal, those who are students of Kashmir, they know how the what is Dadashan mandal. Dadashan mandal, it means inhaling and exhaling. It's coming to well angles. This is the Langata for inhaling and ex ex exhaling. These are pure technical terms of Kashmir Shaiva Darshan. And how this Sufi, Rishi, cult, what not? Once she had attained, she is not in one vakash. In nine vakash, she completely confesses that I have achieved the ultimate. And, and she declares it unequivocally. I have achieved what, achieved what I was to achieve. What had left for her to achieve? These are nonsense vakas which are attached to her. Kalima purum, kyathaan purum. What was the kalima? She is a pure yogini. And that's not only, now you see, roughly after a gap of 400 years, there's another yogini, incarnation of another yogini, Rapavani. And she was also sent to Sapphire Order. While analyzing Lala's walks, we are supposed to analyze her walks in light of Lala's walks, or rather Lala's walks in light of Urabhavani's Rashubhajish. Because both are in Loka Basha, in Kashmiri Basha. If structure of those Rashubhajish walks are is say A, how can it be that uh, Lala's will be B? The people who must have gone through uh, Rabbamani's, these um, Rahishub walks, they must have seen that the language structure of those walks is so difficult as on date we are not able to interpret them completely. If the structure of language after 400 years of Lokabasha was so difficult, how come it was so easy uh, at the time of Lala? So these are subjects of research. And now, since world order is changed now, everything is available. Linguistic, linguistic literature, literature research. Everything is available. All my friends who are devotees of Lalishwari all over the world, we need to take this project in our hands. We will have to just get these interpolations out. And it's not that difficult. Because treasure trove saved from extension extinction by Dharmadasa and by garrison, by Sitin, by Maham, Maham, uh, Mahapadhyay, Mukandram Shastri. We owe a lot to them. Same thing has happened with Rahish Upadesha, Matar of Bhavani. That too was saved by this tradition of Shruti Sumariti, as Vedas were saved from one generation to another generation by word of mouth.
I should say, Lalajet is our pride. Whatever she contributed, that is the superiorest piece of poetry, that is the superiorest piece of philosophy. There is no second Lala. So the glory of Lala should come out. We, the lovers of Lala, all over the globe, we should get united. We should expand it. That will be the biggest contribution to the humanity. Lala is a Hindu icon. There is no doubt, there is no question about it. Namaskar. Thank you. Thank you, Jyoti ji. Thank you, Sanjay ji, for such an insightful talk. Every day we are learning something new and very important about Mata Laleshwari and especially your expertise in the subject of Kashmir Shev Darshan has uh, given yet another perspective to understand Laldet. And before we conclude today's session, I would like to share some thoughts and um, I hope that you all will relate to these thoughts around Lal her life, her personality, and her, her works. So all these debates and discussions that we have been doing for last few days, all scholars and researchers have been unfolding various facts about the history, her life, Laldad's life, her works. There have been many difference, uh, differences in the opinions and interpretations given by the scholars and the researchers. But uh, at the end, this all can be summed up in just one message, one thought, one institution, and that is Lal, Mata Laleshwari, where people from all walks of life are comprehending her works, her thoughts and trying to understand that legendary, legendary yogini and various other dimensions of her life. Uh, I think this is very important. This is the need of the hour that we, we try to keep this legacy of hers alive in all practical aspects of our lives. We all can make an effort uh, to understand her, the deep hidden meaning, the real essence in her poetry, in her sayings, and follow the path that, of truth that she has paved to restore the, the kindness, the peace, the harmony on the earth. Especially considering the, the trauma and fear that we are living in today, we must embrace her teachings for the betterment of humanity. With this, we conclude our today's talk. Thank you very much, Sanjay ji. Thank you very much, Jyoti ji. Thank you, everyone, to all the listeners and viewers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.